Are you one of the plaintiffs in this case? Got a question for you. Uh, to what extent uh, can you guarantee the safety of the kids that you would be, if you're a plaintiff, <laughs> forcing into government schools? This Ridley O sponsored by InfinitCoin.com. Just getting started. A rally. Oh my gosh. To defend New Hampshire's private school tax credit. We're actually going to go in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. No spaces are in the. Are you one of the plaintiffs in this case? Um, no, I recognize you. You're one of, one of the attorneys. I am one of the attorneys. General office? Or? Attorney, yes. Okay. Are you here to argue one way or another on the case? I am. Uh, how so? Which uh, way? We are arguing in support of the constitutionality of the bill. Uh, so that as it stands, basically. Correct. You don't want any changes from the, the way it's currently written in law. We're arguing that the bill is constitutional as written. Okay. And what's your name? Richard Head. Sorry, I forgot. I've seen you many times. That's today. okay. I don't take name. any of that personally. All right. Good take luck. care. It can't possibly be more than 35 degrees and very windy and kind of humid today, which will suppress turnout. There is a bill or law that basically allows it allows uh, parents a tax credit to send their kids to private school, but it's under uh, attack because uh, you know there's this lawsuit that says basically, you know, hey, uh, some of that money might go to religious schools, and that's against the New Hampshire Constitution. Are you a plaintiff in the school case? Sorry. Are you a plaintiff in the school case? I'm an attorney. Are you with one of the school districts? I gotta run. I'm sorry. All right, thanks. Are you one of the plaintiffs in this case? Got a question for you. Uh, to what extent uh, can you guarantee the safety of the kids that you would be, if you're a plaintiff, <laughs> forcing into government schools? Are you one of the plaintiffs in the school case? Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Anyway, as people walk into the Supreme Court, today is the appeal of, of one point uh, on which uh, the, the, the pro-tax credit people lost before. The pro-tax credit people have kind of lost ground in the sense that they lost in court over one issue, and that is whether or not any of this money that is saved, you know, through the tax credit can go to a religious school. Are you one of the plaintiffs in the school case? <laughs> What's that? No, I'm one of the clerks in the court. Oh, okay. Thanks much. So, is that a bevy of attorneys inbound or activists? Yeah, they look a little more like attorneys. Are you one of the plaintiffs in the school case, ma'am? I believe I am. Question for you. Uh, you, you. You're going to be having more kids going into public school, basically, if you get your way? Is that correct? Are you one of the plaintiffs in the school case? No, no, no. I'm just coming here observing. Oh, all right, thanks. Are you one of the plaintiffs in the school case? Question for you. Are you with one of the school districts? Are you one of the plaintiffs in the school case? Are you with this, one of the school districts? Are you one of the plaintiffs in the school case? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. Are you with one of the school districts? No. Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, okay. Are you one of the plaintiffs in the school district case? 
Are you with one of the school districts? I am not getting a scraper. Yeah. 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 So I'm estimating turnout at this point is probably about 35, uh, and I would guess they're about 15 minutes into the protest, 15 minutes after it started. Infinite Coin, the cryptocurrency that aims to provide cheap peer-to-peer -peer infrastructure in developing countries. Their motto, real money for real people. IFC is traded on beater.com. That means it's easily converted into Bitcoin. I accepted Infinite Coin for this ad. That means you can too. InfiniteCoin.com